His precious blood. Exodus 12 and 5. See, all these things are just a shadow of things to come representing the Mashiach Jehovah Shah. Exodus 12 and 5. Your lamb shall be without blemish. A male of the first year, he shall take it out from the sheep or from the coats. See? Mashiach Yahweh shot with that ultimate sacrifice. Verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. So he told us to put the blood on the doorpost. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. See? And this day shall be unto you for a memorial and ye shall keep it a feast to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. So when it forever end? Well, some people say you don't have to do it no more. But they're not following this. So you sin it. So you will keep it a feast forever. When it forever end? Hello? When it forever end? <laughs> forever never ends. That's forever. Like now and the future. Genesis 22 and 7. Genesis 22 and 7. The most high. Give us an example of Abraham's faith. Who's our forefather? Abraham. Genesis 22. And 7. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he, and he said, Behold, the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son. The most high will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which the most high had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. His son. He already had got rid of Ishmael and Hagar and his mother. He had a son Isaac. Most I said, offer Isaac up. And he laid his son Isaac upon the altar. He laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. This is our forefather Abraham. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Most High, Mashiach Yahushua, called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. Right before the way. Kill his son. Because the most high said, Isaac gonna be the sacrifice. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fear the most high. Saying thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. 
And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. A ram was caught in, in, the, in, the, in the, uh, the forest or whatever by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. See? But these are examples of faith, of how he feared the Most High. What was the Most High going to do to him? You know, walking with the Most High and say, you got to do this. He was going to do it. Look at St. John, the first chapter. St. John, the first chapter. And verse 35 and 36. Again, the next day, after John stood and two of his disciples, and looking up, Mashiach Yavashai, as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High. And he's called this all throughout Revelation. It said, the Lamb of the Most High. Verse 29. The next day, John said for Mashiach, the Messiah coming unto him, and said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High, which taketh away the sin of the world. So, we already read in Acts 5, 31, that it said repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. So now it says, this scripture says in, in John 1, 29, the next day John see it from Mashiach, I said, coming unto him and said, behold, the lamb of the most high. The lamb is used for what? The sacrifice. Which take away the sin of the world. What world? Isaiah 45, 17. Take away the sin of what world? This world. And I know it bugs a lot of you that is not included in this, but you better come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Isaiah 45, 17. But Israel shall be saved by Hashem, Mashiach, Hashem, with an everlasting salvation. So we're going to be saved by the show of Mashiach El Shai. In the name of the Most High, in the name of Mashiach El Shai, in the name of the Lord and Savior, with an everlasting salvation. That means it's going to last forever and ever and ever. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded, nor confused, world without end. That's the world. That he taken away the sin of the world, that world, the world of Israel. St. John 1, 29. The next day, John see it from Mashiach Abishai coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High, which taken away the sin of the world. Taken away the sin of sins of Israel. Genesis 22 and 7. See all this is still, like it says, Mashiach was shot. Represent the things that we're doing. Genesis 22 and 7. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire of the wood, but where is the lamb? For a burnt offering. See? Abraham said, My son, the most I will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. See? And he provided a lamb in the thicket. But he had told him, hey, do your son. Let your son be the sacrifice. 
Look at verse 1. And it came to pass, Genesis 22 and 1. And it came to pass after these things that the Most High, Mashiach Abishai, did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Mor Mor Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee. See? And Abraham did just what he said to do. And that's what we have to do. All those that are in the orders of the most high. That's serving him in righteousness. You don't let nobody deviate you from what it is that the most high have your calling to be. See, the world set up to send you straight to hell. A lot of you don't have a faith. That's why you don't, that's why it tells you that you're not repenting, you're doing the things that's wrong, and then you just think that it's, it's okay, it's not okay. That's the, that's how you've been Edomanized. It's not okay, people. Because that judgment gonna come. And it's coming with fire and brimstone. Isaiah 53 and 6. Isaiah 53 and 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Most High have laid on him the iniquity of us all. Laid on Mashiach Kawashai, the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed. Mashiach Kawashai was oppressed and he was afflicted. Just like a lot of us black men are today. Because he was in the Roman world. So my white man was ruling. And wicked Israelites oppressed him and gave him over to the so-called Italian Caucasians. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter. He was brought as a lamb, he didn't heard it over and over again. He is that lamb. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shears is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He was saying anything because he knew he had to do what he had to do. Let's get more clear. Hebrews 9. Because brothers be trying to say this ain't a Mashiach Kawashai. You better go somewhere and put your head in a hole somewhere. This is the real deal. Wake yourself up. Hebrews 9 and 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us, the children of Israel. Mashiach Yahusha. Verse 26. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now, once in this end, once in the end of the world, have he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And as in the, excuse me, verse 28. So Mashiach Elishah was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. When he brings power, loose and authority on this earth to himself and to the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. Oh yeah. We got next through the power of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahushai and his holy angels. Israel has next. First Peter 1 and 18 and 19. First Peter 1, 18 and 19. First Peter 1, 18. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, you know it says many are deceived by what? Their vain opinion. And the evil suspicion is overthrown their judgment. See, evil comes in and overthrow their judgment. So I say many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Worthless opinion. Where it come from? The judicious from your fathers. That's what I said earlier. Who taught you the way you think? 
Why do you think, feel the way you feel? Because you've been programmed by our forefathers, who were programmed by the Edomites, who looked at trying to fit in traditions of men. Vain, kind of worthless conversation. When it comes to spiritually knowing what we need to know to make it to this kingdom, that's gonna last forever and ever and ever. And not just satisfied with this world. Some of you have your consolation right now because you're not spiritual. You ain't looking at trying to make it to the kingdom, what it's gonna take. Therefore, this is all you have to look forward to. And some of you are trying to make the best of it. You know? And we have, I mean, come on, we gonna have streets paved with gold. All I see in my mind is a, is a, is a dump truck that be putting on that asphalt, it's gonna be gold. And it's gonna be so beautiful, we can't even imagine it. I mean, look at Solomon's, you read about Solomon's house in the temple that he made for the most high. That still existed. His, I mean, it was on Solomon's porch when Abashiach was shy, walked the earth. Nails of gold, solid gold, of Ophir. Shoot, when Queen of Sheba came to Solomon's, in Solomon's kingdom, she thought the doorman was Solomon. How decked out he was. Solomon just take gold dust and just throw it in the air and just go into his afro, solid gold chariots. They still looking for the minds of Solomon, King Solomon. Mosai made him abundantly rich. Not only rich in material things, but in the mentality of the spirit of the Most High. He just went off in his older years because he started dealing with these heathen nations and women. And he most I told us that they're going to turn our minds away from following him. And that's what we have to be aware of. These women that are Gentiles, and a lot of you brothers, you don't realize it, but a lot of our women are Gentiles. They say they're Gentiles. They were Gentiles before they came into the truth. But they started learning the way of the truth. That's what they taught us. You're a Gentile. You were grafted in. And they still Gentiles, even though they call themselves Hebrew Israelites. Because the mindset is like the Gentile would have them be. Sad to say. But it's real. And Satan, though he got a short time to come down with his much right. He started with the woman, so he didn't have his way with a woman since the garden. That's why you women gotta be aware because you see Satan coming down on y'all now. He ain't just a man of Israel. He dealing with these women. He's doing all kinds of things. I mean, how do you how do they come up with these ideas? Because Satan get into their minds and have them doing all these heinous things to these women. And women are thinking the wrong way. They're not following the ways of the most high. See, we ain't redeemed with no money. Ain't no money gonna save us. Verse 19, 1 Peter 1 and 19, but with the precious blood of Mashiach shall was shot as a lamb without blemish and without spot. That's how we're gonna reach salvation, through his blood. Being shed at the most high. Then look upon us again, he turned his back on us. Because we ain't follow him. As you're being taught not to follow him, and most of us are not going through them laws, or over them laws, to know what's right from wrong in his eyes. Hebrews 9, 14. Hebrews 9 and 14. How much more shall the blood of Mashiach El Shai, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to the most high, purge your conscience, purge your minds, people, from dead works to serve the living power? You gotta come back to him. The only way you can come back to him is do what he say do. Find out what he wants you to do. And you can, it's easy. Start reading from Genesis to Deuteronomy. That's a start. Read those laws, such commandments, and go over these lessons. Romans 3 and 24, because redemption is only coming from the most high. 